is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let, me, let me put my hand up. Amen. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceful, peaceful, gentle, and easy to be what intrigue, full of what mercy and what good fruits, without what hypocrisy, mm, what partiality. partiality. I'm sorry, and without what hypocrisy. And eighteen, the fruit of what righteousness is sown in what peace. What? Of them that what? Make peace. So here we are, we seeing some more attributes that God is re that God will release to you. You see? But again, these thoughts. Now, well, Pastor, you probably say, well, Pastor, how can I work around this? How, how, can, how can I help these thoughts? You see? Now, number one, I already told you based on Romans 12, too. You know? And so let's look at, let's move this to Philippians. Are y'all getting anything out of this? Amen. Now, our thoughts has been keeping us jammed up. Philippians is right after Ephesians. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Philippians 4, 6. Wow. Mm. Mm. Let's, let's go back up to 4. I mean, uh, Philippians 4, 4. It says, the first word you see Capitalized, it's bolded in my Bible. It says rejoice. Okay. Rejoice. It says in the Lord, what? All, always. Rejoice. That's what it says. In the Lord, what? Always. Always. Rejoice. So, look at me for a minute. Now, you know, I, I didn't finish saying, I didn't finish reading the scripture. You know, I go back and finish reading. Hallelujah. I like stopping and pausing because I, that's, this is what I do. But when, when God tells us to rejoice and it's bolded like this. So the question should come to your mind. What am I rejoicing in? The Lord said rejoice in the Lord always, right? So if I'm not rejoicing in the Lord, what am I rejoicing in? Now, when we look at, when we think about the word rejoicing, we think about happiness or, or, or getting, you know, just, just being uh, um, satisfied, whatever. You, whatever the case may be. But do y'all know y'all can rejoice in iniquity? In your sin? This is how come it's so easy for us to sin. Good God. It's because we, we find a place and, and we get comfortable. Good Lord. In that spot. And we start rejoicing in that spot. See, if we rejoice in the Lord, what it's saying is we have connected properly with the Holy Ghost. See, Hallelujah. And what it's doing is shaking down the very barrier that we have built up in, in based on an iniquitous structure because we have rejoiced it in something we shouldn't be. See? Then when it comes, we lose our peace. We lose, ah, my gosh. We lose our peace. The, 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 we, we, can, we, 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 we fall under, hallelujah, we fall under uh, a state of confusion. Then we'd be trying to dip and dodge on certain things. Oh, ha, ha, hallelujah. Yeah, 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 I'm telling you. See, this thing here, right, that I'm talking about, this is, it has all started and established by a thought that was given to you by one of the three, earthly, sensual, or devilish. Some type of, some type, some type of something that came to you, if it wasn't of God, it's something, that came to you 
that you have locked and you rejoiced in. Now the Lord said rejoice in the Lord. And again I say what? Rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. That the Lord is what? At hand. How many times have you announced this in your house? How many times have you said, oh no, I'm not receiving this because the Lord is at hand. Here. You see, he is at hand. But because we have connected to the, 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 the oh Lord have mercy. We have connected to the, uh, um, the, the structure of iniquity. And we're trying to connect that to the Holy Ghost by saying, oh, thank you, God, for this thing. God, God said, I ain't had nothing to do with some of the stuff y'all got in y'all got yourself into. Why y'all giving me the praise for it? I ain't do it. And then you start seeing the outcome behind it. Then you start wondering why, what in the, I thought, Lord, you told me it was, oh, ho, oh, oh, wait a minute. It's not God's fault. Because if, it, if God was in it, the first thing he will recognize or he will reveal is truth. Yes. By his what? Spirit. All right, guys. All right, y'all holy people. Let's keep on going. Hallelujah. Where was I at? Okay, here we go over here. And it says six. Now, see, this is how you can determine of which and how you're operating from. Now, I want y'all to grab hold of this. It says six. It says, be careful for what? Nothing. Be careful for nothing. So in other words, instead of getting all wound up, frustrated, scared, worried, you need to be rejoicing. You need to be rejoicing in God and knowing that he is at hand. But because of the way your mind and your thoughts are, you have forgotten that you have been empowered. Ha, hallelujah. hallelujah. And it says, be careful for nothing. Everything in prayer and what? In supplication with thanksgiving, let your what? Request be made known unto who? God. Yes. See, that, that right there kills or wipe away any iniquitous structure that is developing in you. Or thought, you see. Because while you're waiting, his peace is going to rest. Good God have mercy. His peace is going to rest on you while you're waiting. Hallelujah. Let's, let's go down to seven. And he says, and the peace of God, hallelujah, which passes all understanding shall keep your hearts and mind through what? Jesus Christ. Christ Jesus. So everything if it doesn't line up with this, you're operating under a, a, under a different structure. Now let's go down here to eight. It says what? Finally, brother, whatsoever things are what? Mm -hmm. Whatsoever things are what? Honest. Whatsoever things are what? Just. Mm -hmm. Whatsoever things are what? Pure. There's that word again. Because everything's so what? Pure, right? Mm -hmm. yes. When it's pure, you know the Spirit of God is there. Yes. When things are, when you see truth, you know the Spirit of God is there. Yes. When you're operating in honesty, you know the Spirit of God is there. Yes. And let's go on. So what else, what? So ever things are what? Lovely. Whatsoever things are what? Good. Of a good what? Report. So, ho, 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 let's stop right there. Good report, huh? Good, 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 good report, huh? All of us need to repent. Because it's something that we had probably said before we even got here. It wasn't a good report. Something you said, something you've been confessing, something you've been doing, you know? Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Yeah, y'all, y'all, you know, y'all, y'all holy people. I got you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Good report. So you 
have to start speaking this good report. But you can't speak it if you can't see it. You can't see it if you don't kneel, if you don't surrender to God's will. All right, good report. If there be any what virtue, and if there be any what praises, what 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 does the word? What what's next? Think. think, 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 think. Think means what? Thoughts. Think on what? These things. Think on these things. Mm -hmm. So now, okay, guys. So how have you been thinking? What's been going through your mind? And nine, it says, those things which you have both learned and received and what? Heard and seen in me do. And the God of peace shall be what? With who? You. Amen. A amen. So, this takes me back to how my life is going. Because of how I've been thinking, I bear the fruit based on how I have been thinking. You, you, are you hearing me right now? So, when that song, when uh, people say no, Jesus say yes. You know, would Jesus say yes, nobody can say no, something like that? You know. But see, you can only grab revelation of that is if you surrender yourself to God through prayer, supplication, and thanksgiving. It can't be given to you no other way. Didn't he say the peace of God will be rest on you? Yeah. So, you know, we going through all this fighting and, and warring and, and all that is because the lust factor has risen up in us and it has dominated the word of truth. So now we're operating on one of the three earthly wisdoms or, or, or that, that we've been operating in, not realizing that was, that is what's been forming our life and creating the lifestyle we live. Mm -hmm. This is why people pay so much money, hallelujah, to give you advertisement so they can reshape the thoughts that you have. Get you to the place where you think you need and you really don't. Because it sounds good doesn't mean it's good for you. Don't be so in a hurry to make decisions. Don't be so in a hurry to test it by God. At least this is what I say to him to help me out on this. I say, Lord, if ain't of you, shut it down. That's it. Go ahead, shut it down. It ain't, it ain't gonna be shut it down. Everything that we do now show you how powerful this is. Every time we go out on the road, Reverend says, Lord, you said you're gonna find our loads for us. This, this is what she says, right? Right? And I didn't realize. The power of that, of what she was saying. It, it never dawned on me. Now, we have literally made more money in six months than what people have did for a whole year. I mean, did, 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 you, hear, did you hear what I said? We did it in six months. Yes. The reason why that manifests it's because Reverend had God to, to, to deal with her based on how these loads need to be booked. So now we don't book our loads based on money. Come on, y'all got to hear me. 
the money may be a factor, but it's not the determining factor. Okay, yeah. See, the determining factor is if it's approved by God himself. Okay. We have had loads, and this is when we did things on our own. We have had loads that, boy, had it paid, but Lord, wow. We wish we'd never even taken them daggone loads. Because, I mean, the headache, the stress, and, and, and the, the peace and everything has just left. I mean, are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. See, sometimes it's not about the money. It's about if you trust him enough or believe him enough to let him guide you. Because I'm going to tell you, one load, I, 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 I ain't want to take. You know, I said, no, nah, I don't bother this. Reverend said, no, nah, we, we, we need to take this. So we took it. Right? Man, no problems. Just as Easy. And then on top of that, we saved fuel. We didn't even, I mean, literally. We, we saved, we, literally, we saved fuel. And I said to myself, wow. Then when we got there, something popped up that paid even more than what we even expected to bring us back home. I'm saying to myself, and then the thing is, when we picked that load up, that load was supposed to be delivered a certain day. It was supposed to be delivered uh, on a Tuesday. God got us there Monday morning. I said to myself, you know what? I couldn't do this better at all. I, 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 couldn't, I, could, not, I could not have done that thing better. You, 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 you see? So then, you know, I start seeing certain things just, just, just start manifesting when, when we operate you know, and giving God the total authority by his spirit in the things that we do. Y'all ain't got to have your hands on everything. Take your hands off of some things, will you? Allow him to do what he got to do. Be led, not touch. Be led, not touch. Let him lead you, then you touch. So when, 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 and I'm going to say, I said, I said, I said something. The Reverend, what was it? We was going up, going down to the, the, the Arizona, and it's a, it's a load that we needed to come back with. I just stopped feeling bad about this. I didn't, I didn't feel good about it. I'm just giving you another example. You see, I didn't feel good about it. So we took the load anyway. <sighs> Man, I tell you, you know. We get there to pick the load up. We had to sit there for seven hours. Then they only want to pay me $56 for sitting for seven hours. I said, you got to be kidding. Yes. We shouldn't have took the load in the first place. And was wild, the same exact load was $3,000 more, and then plus we could have done what we needed to do. Because we got anxious. Now, I need you to listen. We got anxious and we move before our time. Good God. Now, the key, I'm almost done. I'm, I'm almost done. The key is to stay out of running ahead of your season. Therefore, there is a timing God wants you to flow in. Right? Your mind and your thoughts will pull you right out of that timing because you think you need it now. Mm -hmm. Or it has to be done, done now. Mm -hmm. Or it has to be done this way now. Mm -hmm. You see? That, that's what I call when you're being hyper. That you just being extremely hyper. Mm -hmm. Calm your butt down. Excuse me for putting it like this, but calm down. You see? Calm down. You know, I wrote in my notes, your life is going to follow your thoughts. Mm-hmm. You must have a close relationship with the Holy Ghost. You must be aware that he is around you at all times. That he is here to guide and to help you. He is here to remove all blinders away 
and take all handicaps out of your life. To remove all blinders and to take all handicaps out of your life. So what does that mean? That means that the devil can't win. That also means that you can't fail. Amen. Your thoughts, if they aren't of God, that means Satan is controlling your thoughts. Out of the three iniquitous structures, earthly, sensual, and devilish wisdom, is where Satan rests to pull you in to control you. Oh, right. oh boy. As he is controlling you, this is, this is my notes, as he is controlling you, he is stopping you from moving in the timing of God and seeing how God is bringing the promises to you the way he should. This is why it is very important that you remove any carnality out of your Christianity. Good God have mercy. This is truly a life of operating in the spirit. Hallelujah. It is based on true relationship and love, not thoughts or how you feel. This will determine your structure and the foundation you will build. Bingo. However you are building is because of how you are thinking. How you are thinking comes from how people or how the world wants to, in, 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 uh, I want to put the word, invade your mind with their, with their vision and with their thoughts. This is Pastor Robert Porter from New Life Christian Center Ministries. God bless you. I prayed earlier that this message will do you well. I'm standing and I'm believing that God that it will. God bless you and I shall see you soon. And guess what guys? Ain't nothing you can do. I love y'all. Nothing you can do. Nothing you can do about it. God bless you. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.